Welcome to Behind the Sketch episode two, or you could call this Straight Paul's Workshop. That sounds like a porn. We're gonna talk about Wow, You Know How to Wink with the lovely, the handsome, available, available Michael, Michael. Henry. Mm -hmm. I'm here. The first time we met was over Facebook. Yeah, I put on Facebook, help, I need help making videos. Because the person I was working with before said he didn't want to do them anymore. And frankly, he kind of started my directing career. I plucked him out of obscurity. Which straight person do I want to <laughs> work with? And I just pop. Let's dive into Wow, You Know How to Wink. I'm starting something new starting today. Like showering every day? No, I'm becoming a winker. If this has something to do with your anus, I don't think I'm- I'm winking with my eyes. So what, what is it about winking that made you want to do a whole sketch about? Well, I was talking about uh, winking with my friend Katie and she said it seemed perverted. <laughs> and I said, that's not perverted. I wink all the time. And she's like, it's still perverted. And I said, no. So I was like, okay, I think I could roll with this since I like to make videos about like differing opinions on something. If people know Andrew, they'll know that he's an eye doctor. And what's funnier than an eye doctor not being able to wink? Because the eyes are the window to the soul, Andrew. You should know that. You can not So classic misdirect. I learned all my sketch writing at Second City. It's all about like misdirect. So you set it up, you set up something to make me look silly, and then I turn it back. It's just an easy way to add chalk something more full of jokes. You can tell a lot about a person from their eyes. Like I can tell that you have a bursted blood vessel, most likely related to constant. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Look, and that was an add-in. The original line was him just cutting me off, but I was like, it would be funnier if he. Uh, said that it was because of constipation. That's what they call EDR. Added the line in later over and try to match their lips. But the good thing with this, because we were wearing masks, I could just add the line in however we wanted to. So have you dealt with constipation before? I never have had constipation in my entire life. <laughs> I never understood the, what, what constipation is. If you're constipated, mm -hmm. doesn't that just mean you don't have to go? It kind of hurts your stomach. And I, I never I've had I've had that. constipation and it is... I've never had constipation. If you eat too much pizza, that happens. I don't... Do, I don't... I only eat high-end pizza. Oh, okay. For all those Domino's lovers out there, you know what I'm talking about. That would give me diarrhea. How'd that make you feel? I'm Slow motion. My favorite. We use slow motion a lot in Michael's sketches. I like it because it also adds conflict and tension and it heightens something. Comedy is all about conflict. Mm -hmm. Like in every one of my videos, people are arguing or not seeing eye to eye. Slow motion is just such an epic moment and the music that you pair it with, it kind of just adds to the heightening of it. So you have to heighten the a moment in order to get knocked down a few pegs and then you get back up and then you go back down. How does it work so I went? Tension. Now you wink for me. I'll show you how aroused I get. I I can't. What? It's embarrassing. Just See more tension. More tension. Oh Boom. 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 So and the payoff could also be the complete opposite of a payoff. The most heightened moment is you're expecting the payoff and it's not there. It's like mm. that's just as much of a payoff. Yeah. Music plays, I feel like, such an integral part in a lot of your sketches. And a lot of them come from uh, YouTube Music Library, which YouTube offers free music that is royalty free that you could use at home on your sketches. There's some great bangers yeah. out there. And then the sound effects are from, usually from the Final Cut Pro program. What was it, dog eating carrot or pig <laughs> eating? I think we've used that for Pete's Ice a couple times. <laughs> now, now this is where we get to the meat and potatoes. <laughs> The Gay Bottom Mafia? Is the Gay Bottom Mafia, is this a real thing? I don't want to confirm or deny either. Do you have a favorite of these bottoms? You know, I'm gonna say I do have a favorite, but I'm not gonna say who. Okay. Y'all could comment and, and guess in the comments <laughs> and see who you think is my favorite. Is that a of? flat ass amongst them? <laughs> So I remember we were struggling what sound effects to come up with for this part. You know, I was looking for these electrical shutter sound effects, electrical like air sound effects, spasm sound effects. Your inspiration for this kind of was um, Austin Powers, right? Yeah, the Fembox. Mm -hmm. Do you get a lot of inspiration from like movies or TV shows you're currently totally. watching? Different things kind of stick in my head and I think that is so funny. Either like something like this, like Fembox or the cadence of something. Like even today we did a video, uh, I say, I want 
have been dominated. That's the same cadence that Nene Leakes used in a uh, season, I think, five reunion of Atlanta Housewives, where she's like, I don't want a dildo. I don't want a dildo. I don't want a dingling. I don't want to buy your dildos. <laughs> This was difficult because we had to clear the permit with LA to get real Exactly, you know. <laughs> but seriously though, I actually, uh, uh, there's like green screen royalty free things on YouTube that you could just key out the green screen and drop in the explosions. I think it actually looks pretty good. It's funny, it's for a comedic effect. Gesundheit. And then there's our star of the, the hour. <laughs> they all pegged that I didn't wink at them. Yeah. Because you're shy. I don't, I don't like to show it off. <laughs> and if you picked up on it earlier, you, that joke with Andrew looking up at the sun. Uh huh. That was kind of a foreshadowing, correct? Yeah. It's like you've been staring at the sun for too long and now you gotta sneeze. When I look at the sun, I sneeze. I really do. And I thought everybody did, but it turns out not everybody does. But a lot of people do it. It's called something. I just it's like a disease or something. It's not a disease. <laughs> all right, all right. Loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not diseased. I think the sketch turned out great. I think it turned out great too. Rewatch I love rewatching myself all so, I mean, so many people are like, I hate watching myself. I love watching it. Cause then I'm like, oh my God, I did do such a good job writing it. And we did such a good job shooting it and mm -hmm. editing it and it all come together. You know, they all look so like well put together and high end. And it's, um, I'm really always very proud of them. But yeah, thanks so much for helping me out with this. And uh, thanks Thank for coming you. over. So um, to all those winkers out there, here's that wink that you never got to see. Wow. Subscribers like, well, like Gaga's monsters, Paul Bears, the Paul Bears, <laughs> or Paulettes, or oh, the Paulettes, the Paulettes. The Put in the comments, would you guys be yeah. the Paulettes or the Paul Bears? Or come up with your own Paul, <laughs> Paulism.